this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create phase diagrams, which are useful for looking at geological continuity, especially with stratified deposits. To do this, you need to have a block model loaded, which I have got on display here, and the block model is being shown currently by intersection. So I'm just going to turn off the block model, I'm going to turn off the display defaults, and turn on my default section. And I'm going to get my section into a plan orientation and just lower it beneath my drill holes. Now I'm going to look perpendicular to the section and start digitizing some strings. So I'm going to just create very simple two point strings and expand them by meters and one more string going from north to south. So once you've done the first set of strings what you can do is you can bring your section up and if I just drag the selection box to select all my strings I can type the quick key PTV to project those strings to the view or the new section position. And what I need to now do is create a new wireframe to, and then link the strings together. To create a new wireframe, I'm going to go to the current object toolbar, choose wireframe and create a new object. And then if I go to the structure ribbon, I click on link and sequentially click on two strings. And if I press the enter button, that will redo the previous command. So I keep on pressing enter and linking the two opposing strings. So once the string is linked, I'm just going to turn off the display of my section and I'm going to double click on my new wireframe. And here is where we can then choose to color the wireframe using the block model. And doing so changes the legend from being associated with the wireframe to then become associated with the block model. So I'm going to choose the stratum column and the stratum legend that we've got for that. And in addition, I'm going to check the cell accurate coloring tick box. And in doing so, I can then see the intersection of the model against the wireframe, and thus assess the geological continuity, multiple orientations at the same time. You can also just turn off the display of those strings and you don't need to see them anymore. And in addition, because it's a wireframe, if I double click on that, I can change the transparency so we can see um, better the correlation of the uh, model against the drill hole. 